Hi, I'm Fargo. And I'm Makoto. And we've been assigned to interview a local professional. Unfortunately, we're stuck interviewing somebody with the world's most boring job. Yeah. Preston Hunter is a database designer and... I don't know what that is. Do, do you know what that is? I don't know. Except that it's boring. <sighs> Tim and Jenna got to interview a police chief. We had this. Well, let's go talk to him and see what he's all about. We're here with Preston Hunter, who is a professional database designer, which is the single most important and fascinating job in the entire world. Uh, well, I, I don't know if it's the most fascinating job in the world for everybody, but um, for me, yeah, it's very fascinating. I, I really uh, enjoy what I do. And, and So what exactly does a database designer do? Is that like a fashion designer or a graphic designer? Oh, well, a fashion designer or a graphic designer, um, yeah, I mean, those things have to do with design as well, but those are jobs that really deal with what's on the outside. And a database designer would be somebody who mostly deals with the back end of information in a, a, any kind of information system. So would you pick like a lot of cool fonts and graphics and like pretty colors and stuff for the website? Um, well, those things uh, are aspects of a website which can be managed from a back end database, but generally speaking, uh, those are the kind of things that would be handled by a dedicated uh, graphic designer um, in most of the kind of systems I work on. I mean, on a small project, I can make choices like that. So, nobody can see what you do? Nobody usually looks directly at the raw database design that I do, except perhaps you know, programmers and administrators. Most uh, end users wouldn't see uh, specifically what I'm working on and, and the tools I use. Uh, sounds a lot like the NSA. So, so, so who exactly would hire a database designer? Somebody wants to make a website or, you know, spy on their citizens? Uh, <laughs> well, who would hire a, a database designer? Well, um, not, not just somebody who has a website, you know, um, although a lot of websites, uh, you know, most any modern large website would use a database designer. All right, so uh, we have a question sent in by one of our viewers. What viewers? Where did you get that card? When it comes to naming database, do you go with singular or plural? Um, it's actually something sometimes there's like debate about it and, and there are some different opinions about it, but the answer is simple, plural. Uh, a database table, by definition, is a construct that's uh, organized so that it can store multiple rows of information. Each row in that information represents one unit of data. I have no idea what you just said, but that's great. Uh, I have another question from our viewers. We don't have any viewers! Um, what sort of database system do you work on? I am in uh, MySQL or MariaDB virtually every day. I support uh, some, some pretty important systems that are ongoing projects where I'm in uh, the, an Oracle database uh, nearly every day. And I also have a lot of uh, experience of many years using uh, Microsoft SQL Server, also people call it Microsoft SQL Server. Um, and I maintain development environments for all of those. There's a database system called MariaDB, so I say. What? Um, no, MariaDB, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of a funny name. It's a uh, binary equivalent of MySQL. It's, it's kind of a long story, I don't want to bore you with the details. Don't worry about that, you could never bore us. Dude, we have to be nice to him, he could like hack our computers and send a Terminator after us. <clears throat> okay, final question. What is the most important thing we should know about what you do? As a database designer, I deal with the things that are important to people. I deal with the data. Okay, wait. I have a final question. So if I were like to learn how to design databases, would girls want to go out with me? I mean, but, uh, I mean maybe, but, but, but if, you, if you learn to design databases, you would be learning um, a very powerful, uh, and uh, an important way to, to, to handle data and to manage information in a way that it is, is able to you know, maintain data integrity and, and access it more easily. I'll take that as a yes. Well, there you have it, folks. Preston Hunter, who may be more in love with databases than anyone else in the entire world. We're not really sure what he does, but he seems important. Dude, he works for the NSA.
I told you, I told you he works for the NSA.